In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we all do plan things in our lives. We wish that everything goes by our will and by our planning. And when things go wrong, and when things don't happen as we plan, we are very much disturbed. At the same time, we must also know that beyond our planning, there is also another plan, and that is at work in our lives, and that is the plan of God, the will of God, the wish of God. And uh, to the extent that we are able to align our plan with that of the plan of God, the wish of God, we are able to experience a certain amount of peace and contentment in our life. Let's ask for this grace to do this Holy Eucharist. Now to prepare our sisters to celebrate this great mystery of love, let us recall the mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my, through my fault, fault through my fault, fault through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Mary, of a virgin, Mary, virgin, all the angels, all the angels and, saints, and saints, and you, and you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters to, pray to pray for, for me, for me Lord, to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. For the salvation of the world, brought about the Paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people, so that Christ, our High Priest, interceding on our behalf, may by His likeness to us bring us reconciliation, and by His equality with you, free us from our sins. This we ask of you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. They left rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer dishonor for the name. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 5, verses 34 to 42. In those days, a Pharisee in the council named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law held in honor by all the people, stood up and gave orders to put the men outside for a little while. And he said to them, Men of Israel, take care what you are about to do with these men. For before these days, Theodos rose up, claiming to be somebody, and a number of men, about 400, joined him. He was killed, and all who followed him were dispersed and came to nothing. After him, Judas the Galilean rose up in the days of the census and drew away some of the people after him. He too perished, and all who followed him were scattered. So in the present case, I tell you, keep away from these men and let them alone, for if this plan or this undertaking is of man, it will fail. But if it is of God, you will not be able to overthrow them. You might even be found opposing God. So they took his advice, and when they had called in the, uh, the apostles, they beat them and charged them not to speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. Then they left the presence of the council rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer dishonor for the name. And every day in the temple and from house to house, they did not cease teaching and preaching that the Christ is Jesus.
the word of the lord thanks be to god response will some your response will be there is one thing i ask of the lord to live in the house of the lord there, there is, is one thing i ask of the lord, lord to live, live in, in the, the house, house of, of the lord. lord the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear the lord is the stronghold of my life whom should i dread your response there, there is, is one, one thing i ask of the lord to live in the house of the lord there is one thing i ask of the lord only this do i seek to live in the house of the lord all the days of my life to gaze on the beauty of the lord to inquire at his temple your response there, there is, is one, one thing i ask of the lord to, to live in the house of the lord i believe i shall see the lord's goodness in the land of the living wait for the lord be strong be stout hearted and wait for the lord your response there, there is, is one, one thing, thing i ask of the lord to, to live, live in the house of the, of the lord, lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus went away to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias, and a large crowd was following him because they saw the signs that he was doing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. Now the Passover, the feast of the Jews, was at hand. Lifting up his eyes then, and seeing that a large crowd was coming towards him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread, so that these people may eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred denarii worth of bread would not be enough for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they for so many? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down, about five thousand in number. Jesus then took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, so also the fish, as much as they wanted, and when they had eaten their fill, Jesus told his disciples, Gather up the leftover fragments, that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up, and filled twelve baskets with the fragments from the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they said, This is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. Perceiving then that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, Jesus withdrew again to the mountain by himself. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty, Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of the whole most holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is it's right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed and rose from the dead and lives forever. May the oblation of his body be brought the sacrifice, he brought the sacrifice of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelly hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as the, as the acclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, giving he, he took the bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all and for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the bishops, the clergy, the religious, and the faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Francis, Saint Clare, Saint Anthony, Saint Pio, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced in our life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done on, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said, every apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church. Graciously grant her and to our hearts and to our homes the peace and unity in accordance with your will. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. 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 Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes service in the other world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but that those who say the Lord and my soul shall be My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the ages. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of the Paschal Sacrament 
and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The masses and the lows go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Thanks be to God.